Hello everyone, and welcome to the channel. Today our discussion would be regarding a medicine which is used to treat infertility in women, and helps in conceiving pregnancy. Before starting the video, we would inform you that video is for the purpose of passing on the information related to the medicine. We will present the data of medicine, according to literature of medicine and study research. Always consult your doctor, before starting this or any medicine. Also watch complete video, because all information provided here is very important and in detail form, so we don't want you to miss out any important information. The medicine which we are talking about is Clomid. We will explain what is Clomid, how it induces pregnancy, how to start this medicine, which is very important because many females don't know when to start this medicine or on which date of cycle to start. Because if you start on wrong date, chances would be less to conceive pregnancy. Its dosage and also, when to increase the dose. Its main side effect, and other important information, so stick around and do like and subscribe the channel. Clomid contains the ingredient called clomiphene citrate, it's an oral medication which may be prescribed if you have been having difficulty ovulating, or getting pregnant on your own. Now the question is, how does Clomid work for fertility? Clomid works by making the brain think that your estrogen levels are lower than they are. This causes the pituitary gland to increase secretion of follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, and luteinizing hormone. Higher levels of FSH stimulate the ovary to produce an egg follicle, or multiple follicles, that will develop and be released during ovulation. In simple words, Clomid increase follicle stimulating hormone, which increases egg production. This is how ovulation is induced and females perceive pregnancy. Now coming to its dosage, and how to take this medicine. Clomid comes in 50 mg of tablet. Doctors will usually prescribe 1, 2, 3, or sometimes 4 pills to be taken at the same time each day, depending on how they think you will respond to the medicine. It's common to start at the lowest dose, that is 1 tablet, and increase each month as needed. The dose is as follows for Clomid tablet. On the third day of your cycle, Start Clomid at 50 mg, that is, one tablet per day and continue for next five days. Remember, your doctor may also suggest you to start Clomid on fifth day of your cycle. So your medicine taking pattern would be like this. On cycle days 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Or, on cycle days 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. You should be having sex every other day starting from day 10 till day 16 of your cycle. Because a woman typically ovulates around day 14. So this is the best time for conceiving. Have a blood test on day 21 of the cycle. This test is called day 21 progesterone. If the result of your blood test shows that you are not ovulating or not conceived, then wait for your next period. If you have your period, restart taking the Clomid, this time using 100 mg. That is 2 tablets per day for next 5 days. If you are still not ovulating after taking 2 tablets of Clomid, then repeat. This time taking 150 mg. That is, 3 tablets per day for 5 days. Clomid should not be used for more than 6 cycles in your life, due to the slightly increased risk of ovarian cancer, if used for more than 12 cycles. You should ideally take the Clomid at the same time every day. And remember we are always saying that start this medicine with doctor advice only. Because your doctors knows best, what suits you? Now let's see, common side effects of this medicine. While this medication is generally pretty safe, there are some side effects that you should be aware of. 
They include hot flashes, headaches, bloating, nausea, mood changes, breast tenderness, visual changes like blurring and double vision. There are some contraindications in which Clomid should never be used, which are liver disease, hormone-dependent tumors or abnormal uterine bleeding, ovarian cyst. Clomid should not be given in the presence of an ovarian cyst, except polycystic ovary. Also remember, this medication is not recommended for women, whose ovaries no longer make eggs properly. The information provided here is by a pharmacist. We gather all the information from relevant sources and then present it in front of you. Hopefully these videos are helping you. Do like and subscribe the channel. And if you have any question, just drop below, we will answer that.